okay, by request of the audience, I'm going to go over my thoughts on Salvage PI. Salvage PI for right now, I don't know if this is going to change in the future, is a short story in the first Ripperzine, the Ripperverse magazine, which this was a good idea. And what's interesting is when, when this comic company first started, I thought to myself, man, I wish we had a magazine, something like wizard which wizard was really a comic book price guide but there was articles in there that covered certain things and i remember thinking man i wish there was something like wizard that i could see and hear about new things or or maybe see interviews with different artists from the ripperverse i really thought that and that's exactly what we got in this magazine along with that we get this short story salvage pi the story was actually more enjoyable than I thought it would be. And here's what most people don't, don't understand or realize. Those who are really into comic books, they know this. Comic books didn't start as superhero stories. Now, superhero stories were an outgrowth of comic books, like the, I guess, uh, the, the maturation process, process, how things change and move and transition from thing to thing. But comic books... When they first started, it was comedy, romance, and horror. And this is something most people don't realize. I feel like Salvage P.I. is not necessarily a throwback, but a callback and a recognition to the foundation of comic books and where comic books got their start. Enjoyable story. Very gritty. Um, as far as the look, it reminded me of... If you remember Milestone Comics, it was uh, so DC had a, an attachment comic book company called Milestone Comics. A lot of black and Hispanic, I believe, creators. Uh, you got Blood Syndicate, Hardware, Static. I think there was another book. I don't know why it's eluding me right now. Um, Icon. Yes, Icon. But this Salvage PI and art style reminded me of Hardware. The, the art style was very gritty, kind of dark. It, it covered, you get a different view of Florist Park, which is the city which the Ripperverse is growing out of. I'm interested to see what happens when we see the rest of the country. So apparently, from what I gather uh, from my reading in the Ripperverse, there was uh, some, kind of a, some kind of event. Texas has separated and become its own, um, um, I don't know what you call nation state, which is interesting, definitely interesting, and probably more close to reality uh, nowadays uh, than than not. But anyway, you get to see a different view of Flores Park. It's it's dark, it's gritty. It, it, there's a lot of things that happen. I don't want to give any spoilers. I want to give people full opportunity to read these books, soak in these books. So I'm not going to spoil it for people who have not received their items yet, but it, it felt like a, it almost felt like Gotham city, not a ripoff of Gotham city, but that feel you get when you read a Batman comic book and he's doing his detective work at nighttime, you know, viewing different things. Yo, I think I like the feel of this. Didn't think I was going to enjoy it. I'll be honest with you. I opened the Ripazine. I read some of the the I read the Chuck Dixon interview, which is great. It's a great interview. Um, I'm gonna read the uh, some of the other interviews they have in a Ripazine. I'm kind of walking through it slowly, but yesterday I said, "Let me read Salvage PI. Let me see what it's about. Let me see what's going on." Pleasantly surprised. I I I, I read through it. It's a quick read. I can't remember exactly how many pages it is. A quick read. And here's what's funny. It's interesting, right? It it felt like the the length of the regular, the normal comic book. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Uh Ripperverse has me spoiled now. Like I want to see my my 90 to 100 page graphic novel. I want to be uh um fully entrenched into this world. But Salvage PI was a, a good breakup of that. I wonder if this is going to turn into a full-fledged book. 
Yo, I'm going to be honest. I think it should stay in the Ripazine. I think maybe every other issue, they continue with Salvage PI or maybe every issue. I don't know how hard that would be, but yo, this was good. It was definitely way more enjoyable than I initially thought it would be.